Team will start working on this like May of 2018. Then I start saying like, man, how can I make some big frame structure to go around a pit that already had those roughly the same size? I knew I had to be able to flip this cow over. But when I flip it over, I knew I couldn't. I didn't want my cow to come through the ashes. So I had to have enough clearance between the, between the height of the ashes expectations so the cow will miss the ashes and it'll rotate over and the cow does not touch any ashes. We just have a clean cow, perfectly cooked. Just set up here and the cow laying flat and this was a stitching. And so two people could easily flip this thing. We made it maybe a little more robust and heavier than it probably should be because I'd rather to have it be too strong than not strong enough. So who designed it? Did he design it and then you built it? It was a 75, 25, and he's in Louisiana, and I'm home. <laughs> and I would call him and tell him what I'm doing. He would uh, tell me, well, that, well, I want this day to do this, and that's what I would do. I can't take credit for this. I can take credit for some of the design, but for the actual building, I'm a welder by tree, 45 years. That was just something I had in my shed. When you make South Carolina barbecue, or so barbecue in the South, you can't go to a store to make this type of stuff. The guys who I learned from, who my father learned from, they used what they had. They had the materials. It's a labor of love. Give you a little score here. In West Africa, Sapelo Island, Gullah Culture, Edistor Island, and growing on things, Hopkinson Plantation, growing sweet potatoes, corn, plow, mule, wagon, they're picking them up. This is barbecue in the ground, late 1800s. This is, they cooking, this is pit cooked barbecue, just so you, you understand what you're looking at in the ground. This is what you see, 1944 era. This is 2017. This is a representation of the sketch my father cooked in last 1975. I did this in Streetport, Louisiana. My understanding, through my research, this is what it was, this is what it is. You got other variations, offset smokers, aquariums, but it started back there. I grew up cooking whole hogs. He passed this down orally. There's the people we get this information from, you got to be around the fire, learning this stuff with the fire in the background, shoveling. So how long have you been up? How much sleep have you had? Okay. Honestly, I don't know, but I know I did get two hours of sleep. Cause I had a great team around me to help do this, because it's not all about me. Um, but to do this, it takes love. In the wee hours of the morning, Crowds initially start big, they go small. In the toughest hours, you up here, and you gotta be focused, committed. I mean, you gotta love it. And I don't know what the night gonna hold. It uh, us helping us. That's the venue location. The imagery y'all see, this is what it's all about. I can't let y'all, this is my artwork. Hope y'all enjoy it. This is just a labor of love. Go! 
Gumbo Jubilee. Across the African diaspora, gumbo is one of the most popular dishes. Sometimes we need to get together that fellowship. And this Jubilee is a celebration. I thank all you all for coming out and support this. Like, this is something, I don't know, I hope you all enjoy the ambiance of what you see. But we about to go outside and see something you all are waiting for. We're seeing a whole cow barbecue. This is not a light feat. I don't know how many more, how many times you've seen a whole cow being barbecued, but this is something special. I'm gonna direct everybody to go outside. All kind of concentrate on the on that patio so y'all can look at the cow so everybody can kind of see the cow. We're gonna take our time with it. Be patient. We want y'all to take y'all pictures. It's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. That's what this is all about, social media. Gumbo Jubilee hashtag. Hello. That was the worst thing about segregation, is you didn't allow people to learn. You kept so many, look at the resources you lost by not letting us learn. Look, if you let every black man learn, look what he could do. He could do a lot, but we were not taught. We were not able to be a part of that. Now we are. And look at what we are now. Wonderful. It is wonderful to see you interested in doing anything in this industry. Because it's an industry that we will need for 